We're starting in three, two, one, go! Daily match number four gets underway. This is our last introductory match, if you will, where we're getting to meet what these alliances have in store for us. Our Red Alliance has in store at least a six game piece autonomous attempt. It looks like they'll only be able to score five of them, but they still have possession of that six piece rolling into the teleoperated period there. And they did secure the lead coming out of auto, 51 to now 48 points as the Blue Alliance scoops up just a couple here early in the teleoperated period. Back across the field we go. There's Millennium Falcons. Cone goes up and down. Five points of Alliance score. There's the partners, Vitruvian bots, with another cone and the first link already up on the Blue Alliance board. One link also scored so far on red. 71 points over on their side of the field. There's a cone and a cube in the top right node of that Alliance grid. And I think I see another cone inbound for one of these incomplete links over here. In comes. Looks like that's going to be the Thunder Stamps lifting up. I thought they were going to finish that top node. They instead place on the middle row for three points of Alliance score. But their Alliance does still have the lead and two links to show for it so far. Lots of cubes getting tossed across there on that Red Alliance side. Mechanical Mustangs grabbing them and then parking on the charge platform. Rolling over into those lower rows of the Alliance grid. If they're... They've got at least one bonus node already ready to go for later, but they've got six links to form before that'll be a relevant conversation. Blue Alliance now working on some rather methodical alignment on those machines. In there you saw Millennium Falcon a moment to place a cone. Their alliance partners come in now looking to place a cone where their alliance partner could not. Vitruvian able to pick up those three points, and in comes the alliance partner to round all of that out. The Ravonics Revolution working mostly on the right side of the alliance grid there as the Blue Alliance picks up now their fifth link, matching that of over here on the Red Alliance. 12 points separate your two alliances now as the endgame whistle sounds, and we prepare for our endgame charge station balances and whatever last minute link scourge these alliances are able to pull off. Blue Alliance not calling it a day yet. They've still got 15 seconds and they've got cubes in their grasp looking to fill in some of these last minute links. There's link number seven for the Blue Alliance and now we're going for the triple balance. That's good, docked and engaged. Triple will dock and engage on red with five seconds left. And it all comes down to just a few game pieces sitting on these Alliance grids and we'll tally those up and get back to you shortly. Final score, 182 to 178. And we'll see that red alliance there, alliance number three, move on to face alliance number two in match number eight, or excuse me, alliance seven in match number eight later. And our